Okay, so in this occasion, we are going to explain how to debug a Java application right inside Neobin. Here in, inside this project, I have a, um, a Spring Boot application with Gradle right inside MP3 SVC folder. And if I open my controller, I have a mapping, get mapping for the hello path. Now, if we run the, the application, here in the first terminal, we, I am running Gradle build with continuous flag. And in the second terminal, I'm running mm -mm, boot run with debug JVM flag. So we can attach to the debugger. Now, if we hit this URL, so um, we see here, hello world. Now, if I change this and I refresh, we will see that we get auto reload. Okay. Now, if now we want to debug, we set a breakpoint. We already have a breakpoint. And here inside VS Code launch.json, I have a configuration to attach to the 8000 port. And with Gradle, I had to make a little change in build Gradle to specify these options to, to attach to the 8000 port. And we can see it in action here in the terminal, not in the build one, but in the boot run and the transport here is listening in port 8000. Now, if we move to the controller again, and then we run the um, this configuration uh, for the debug, and we attach to the 8000 port. Now we are attached. And now if we hit command R again, then this is loading because this is just inside here. Now we can inspect all the variables, etc. Now if we hit continue, then the response is hit. And again, we are inside here if we refresh. Okay, now we are going to, to explain how to configure everything. Well, I want to show as well that here, right inside applications, application properties, we have uh, auto completion for all the configuration uh, properties uh, from Spring. And also we can create uh, all the um, all the annotations uh, right inside Neobin, just like as if we were in VS Code or Eclipse or NetBeans or IntelliJ. Now, how can we do it? So everything is all set up with uh, these plugins. Uh, first, you will need to configure the um, debug adapter protocols. And the plugins, they are listed here. First, you need to install mbindap, which is a debug adapter protocol client implementation for Neobin. Here you will see all the requirements to, to install it. Then the mbindap UI, it's just a simple UI when, that you open when you attach to, to a debug. And you can inspect variables. It has a REPL. Then you will need to configure MB in JD TLS. We will see my configuration uh, just a little bit. So I got the most conflicting parts explained. Now also, well, these are the plugins needed for 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 debug inside Newby. Also, these two are the pl the plugins that you need to. Uh, configure the LSP servers. 
the LSP it's just like a language server protocol. It's a protocol where the IDs communicate with, with the servers and they uh, communicate all the go to definition actions, etc. And we have one for the Eclipse language service and also for the uh, Spring Boot language server, which is the one responsible for the LSP suggestions on the application property file, for example. And now there are also another plugins, very useful. The first one is uh, useful if you want to visualize the, uh, the dependencies. We can see it in action right over here. If I run Java projects, here we can see the um, a folder structure with all the uh, libraries that I have installed for this concrete project. It's a similar uh, view to the one inside VS Code. Uh, and also the um, Spring Boot Mbin is a plugin that enables us to, to do auto reload Spring Boot applications by just hitting one key map. Now I will explore the configuration. Most of the configuration is done here inside ft plugin java.lua and it all comes down to uh, configuring this local variable and we should point if we want Lombok then we should uh, configure the java agent to point to the Lombok jar then also the jar should point to, to the JDTLS Equinox uh, launcher.jar and also well, let me see um, the important part is right over here we need to, to populate the bundles key with uh, all the bundles needed to test uh, Java uh, to debug Java to execute the Spring Boot language server. Here we can see we are, every time we are populating the bundles um, map. And also we are uh, populating the bundles with the jar file uh, for the Java projects lips visualizer. Then once we configure everything, we simply invoke require GDTLS start or attach with the config that we talked before. And then uh, you will have autocomplete LSP working with Java files. So it's a little bit more complicated than that, but we will not cover everything in depth. I will link a, a, a link to my dot files so you can inspect it uh, more by yourself but I just wanted to show you how this could be done and and to show that this is possible right inside the OB. So I hope you understood everything and well see you in the next video.